I want to show you something. And I think that maybe some of you will already understand this. Maybe some of you won't. But this is your public service announcement. I did something on purpose today. I sprayed a tiny project with one color. Okay, and I want to show you guys something. This is a clean Q-tip. This might be a little gross, but this is, this is clean. Ready? Wear your masks. Wear your masks and change your cartridges regularly. These pieces, they're for cartridges. Change them. Use them. Wear your masks. Good morning, fish heads. It is another beautiful, beautiful day here in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Full of ATV riders. That's the way this video is going to be, folks. The roll-up is open. It's bluebird skies. I'm in the shop today. I'm going to be in the shop all day today, all day tomorrow. Tomorrow being Sunday. I'm going to get a spray session knocked out for you guys. A little bit of a around the Jekyll Bates backyard area. We're kind of doing some renovations back there. Um, lots and lots of stuff going on. But I've got a few pieces to show you this morning, so let's get into that. Piece number one. This is an old piece that I've just had laying around. It's not a traditional square bill. I actually got this particular blank from Lure Parts Online. It's what they call a round bill. It's a 2.5 fat bodied bait. Uh, it's one of those man's seconds baits and they actually swim <laughs> really, really well. So um, again, apologies for the background outside noise. It's a beautiful day. So actually, you know what? I'm not going to make that many apologies for it because it r really is a nice day. But this is that round bill. Um, and I did something a little bit different. It was an old pattern. And I don't know if the camera is actually going to do it justice. But I had this. I had matched a bunch of... Um, it's the uh, Yamamoto... PBJ color, which is like a really good dark plum, purplish. It's got green and red flakes in it. And then it had like a, a redder shade on the bottom end of it. So I meshed that out. So this is this is not that sisal mesh. This is actually a wired wrap um, I've had for a while. And it's a really cool, I do the molten lava patterns. As a matter of fact, I can show you what I do with the, uh, the molten lavas. This is getting ready to go out to a client. It's like a seven piece deal. Um, it's gonna be noisy today and I apologize for that. I normally try to, to reduce the outside sounds, but I tell you what folks, being the way things have been the last few weeks and all of us having to stay in our homes and wear masks and stuff, it just feels so good to have some fresh air in this in this shop so uh, again apologies for noises but not really because it's nice to have this roll up open for you guys so yeah it's a it's a wired two inch two and a half inch mesh and you can pick it up at walmart um, very cool stuff and i do have a description below for a link for you guys if you are interested in this type of wired mesh um, comes down to about here, which is kind of cool because you can actually portray the belly area, especially if you're doing a crawl. Next up, this is the old Sugar Lake Crawl, and this is in a 1.5. And it's just a bright red fade down through orange and yellow on the back, and then just a little bit of red on the tail. These are all double coated. I've started double coating all my stuff just because, just because. Um, give you guys a better product. So this is on that 1.5 and then we've got money craws. We've got a few more of those and the 1.5 and these are all available on the website at www.jekyllbaits.com and right now through the end of May, I've, I've got it out through the 15th but I think I'm going to continue it through the entire month of May for you guys doing 20% off of everything. I mean everything except for apparel. But it's basically that just, apparel for most companies gets their brand out there, gets their name out there. 
and they're cool. I mean, I've, I've got some really great designs coming up. I'll show those at the end of the video. I've got some salty summer fish threads for fish heads. Um, T-shirts, black and white, and those are on sale, I think, for like 25 bucks ship. So there's some good stuff going on. But I do have 20% off of all of my regularly um, itemed out stuff on the website. So take a look at that. These are yellow koi. And I've had to repaint these. These are for Gordon Riley. Uh, I sent, and it's been a couple of months now, I sent him uh, four pieces, and it was yellow koi, and then I'm uh, some red discus on an S-crank. Um, but they never, I don't know what happened. So these are going out to him again. And they've got those really cool pearl eyes going on. And then got two of these as well, that red discus headed to him. Love that flame red. It just it kind of looks like the bait's melting away. It's a really, really cool look on these things. Next up is something that's really near and dear to my heart. And I, I got to tell you folks that um, I'm finally, I mean, what is it now? It's May, and I'm finally starting to get shipments that are coming in from overseas in. Um, I'm switching out a, a good bunch of things that I'm no longer able to get and then I'm waiting on my guys over at Dinger and Cedar Run to get replenished on stuff as well. We're, it's, we're all in the same boat. We're all waiting on stuff. Um, I think Brian's got a good bit of stuff that's coming in. So just keep checking back on the websites. If you guys are looking for blanks, just keep checking back with them. I mean, don't pester them to death because that's it gets frustrating because right now we're all as as merchants and distributors and custom guys we're all in the same boat if we're doing any kind of uh, trading with our overseas clients so just hang in there with us we're getting there as fast as we can but these these are near and dear to my heart um, I was asked to do and it's it's a great honor to be able to to do that um, a fellow by the name of Derek Green lost his St. Bernard of many years, Ellie, and he wrote me and asked, um, he showed me pictures of the pup, which I'm going to put up now for you guys, beautiful, beautiful dog, um, and he asked if I could fashion a couple of topwaters for him so that he could take his dog fishing one more time, so there you go. There you go. I'm sorry. I got a little choked up. I mean, I, I, it's just, that's a really cool thing that you asked me to do. And I hope that I've done her some justice. This is her pattern, her colors. And this is just that fan brush. And he asked instead of uh, shad dots, if I could do the paw print on the sides. And I was very honored, very happy to, to be able to do that for him. Got the red mouth. And this is that gill through beautiful bait. These walk pretty well. Um, they're weighted pretty well. They will sit in the water like this, but yeah, again, apologies, but um, that was just, that was, this was a really special project to be able to work on, and it took me forever to get stuff in. Again, like I've been saying, probably since February, you guys are probably sick of hearing it. Um, I order stuff a few times a year, and I try and deal with the American distributors as much as I can, especially on the stuff that you can't get other places, and there's a couple of companies out there that really shine and have their own molds and stuff done you know for their customers but other things like top water and all that I get bulk and I get it like three or four times a year and I've had to like order stuff twice and three times just to fit the you know the customers you know to to fill the orders and I'm still like I'm still right around the end of February 1st of March with some of my orders those should be finished up I want to say this weekend I should be through mid-March and hopefully into April uh, on the website orders and all that stuff but again you guys have been super patient with me and I appreciate that thank you so much but um, Derek it was it was my honor to do these for Ellie last couple going out this morning these are those fat bodied lipless and this is in a, a bit of a spring pattern got those really cool eyes 
that are the freshwater pearl and just give you a, a little bit. This is the creature feature stencil on the bottom in white. You just spray opaque white over your entire bait and it comes out pretty good. And then uh, a textured cre creature feature on the top part of this crawl pattern. Very good for this time of the year. And that is all the news that's fit to print. Um, I hope that you guys have gotten some value out of the videos. I really appreciate the views. Um, it does help feed the fam. And I hope that I'm able to uh, help all of you guys out as well. We've got a bunch of stuff going on. We've got some more stuff coming. I know the mic, the mic on the... I know my microphone's super hot today because there's lots going on outside, but it's just it's too pretty to be stuck inside. So you guys have a fantastic day, evening, afternoon, weekend, whenever it is that you guys view this. And I will see you on the next video, which probably will be either a spray session or that salmon speed spray, uh, speed paint, watercolor. It's not a spray. Uh, but we've got, uh, got some cool stuff coming down the pipes. We'll see ya. Cheers. Have a great day. Happy casting from Jekyll Bates.